relationships with siblings are just one of those relationships that are so hard to describe. One minute you love each other and would do absolutely anything for each other. And the next minute you're shouting at each other from the other end of the house. I remember when I was younger, around your age, me and my sister, who was three years younger than me, used to argue like cat and dog. But now I'm in my 20s and she's coming up to 18. We get on better than ever. I wonder if any of you can relate. Sibling rivalry is also a large part of a lot of sibling relationships too, but it has been something that has been around for thousands of years. There's a story in the Bible that you might have heard of. You may have heard of the story of Joseph's Technicolor Dreamcoat. Here's the story from the Bible. Joseph's story is rather well known and another strong example of sibling rivalry. Continuing in his father's footsteps, Joseph's father Jacob showed a great deal of favoritism towards his favorite son, Joseph because he was born of Jacob's favourite wife. Joseph's brothers clearly saw that his father loved Joseph more, especially after he gave Joseph an ornamented robe, the technical dream coat, as you may think. This created a rivalry between Joseph and his brothers to the point that they shunned him and then considered murdering him. They would not even call him their brother. In the end, they sold him into slavery. After a lot of rivalry, the end of the story saw Joseph being reconciled with his brothers and his father. Why have I told you this story? Because the relationships that we have with our siblings is not always going to be positive. I'd like to think that none of you have sold your siblings into slavery, but I'm sure there have been things that you shouldn't have done to your siblings. What I hope that you can take away from this is sibling rivalry is normal, but we should always strive for reconciliation. We should try to get on with our siblings and not try to be like Joseph's brothers.